hello everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we're gonna be up against the luminous and scout gokilla i mean a long time guy uh arb hussein and i'm gonna be with night soul and john wick now of course before we start likewise subscribe smash the like button ring the bell icon to be notified of any content on my channel let's go So I'm going to be the yellow, Night Soul will be the red, and John Wick will be the green. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, so we skip the capture containers. Okay, level 2 vehicle factory for that armadillo. Alright, and then of course that um, research facility, and then of course that avia factory for the wasp and dragonfly. Super container appearing right here. Alright not really bad okay and so i'm actually using a common production boost to speed up the process of both the aviation the the factory as well as the uh barracks uh in terms of production there you go and i'm gonna have to grab that super container and uh yeah i just waited for that uh rifle or assault infantry to gather the container and then i'll go ahead and grab the contents of that thank you very much my foreign dog Okay, we see here Night Soul <laughs> using um, Wolverine on those infantries. Obviously, it's going to get shredded. Yeah. Okay, very, very nice. And uh, there you go. He'll, he'll also manage to get the super container. Now, amongst all this, uh, John Wick was not so lucky at all. However, he actually developed his base rather quickly than me and... Oh, well, yeah, I was the slowest. Tracy noob okay and so we're gonna go and uh well i'm positioning myself into attacking the uh the blue player as you guys can see right here okay hq level three and i'm actually saving for that hq level four and i'm going to have to add of course two more um two more supply centers right after going hq level four to catch up all right so my army here i just hit an infantry all across the map to, of course gain view as to what, what what's going on you know what needs attention and so on and so forth we see this guy right here going hq level three and still producing those hammers okay so there's like an attack coming over here from uh, john wick uh no those are scouts all right that's well done and uh, me and john wick will go ahead and attack or i'll position myself to attack the purple player here we go. There's actually a vertex here from the CN player or Gokilla. However, I'll take my chances and uh, damage that Cerberus as it strike right at the building and then ignore the Cerberus in general. I'll use micro on or I'll do micro on my wasp, keeping it away outside the range of that Cerberus to, well, keep it alive for as long as possible. John Wick will, of course, attack as well and follow up with my initiative as well as destroy that vehicle factory. Now, it does not really matter if my wasp will be destroyed or anything like that. For all I know, the damage has already been dealt. There you go. And, oh, and Nightsoul is actually in trouble here with the Cerberus and the uh, Hammer. How many hammers are there? Okay, so just hammers. Okay, now I instructed my partner, John Wick, to attack that, um, yeah, to attack that annoying X facility. It is already level 2, delaying that Serafima production that Cerberus is still alive and I'm trying to micro my uh, armadillos into attacking the the uh, buildings that are under construction that are trying desperately to of course you know build those back <laughs> since he just managed to lose them all okay we see here um luminous and scout or the blue player okay retreating as of course the jaguar already popped out here and going HQ level four here as a night soul Still HQ on, uh, still HQ three as John Wick, and here goes. He's still pressing on the attack here, and destroying any buildings at this point would be highly, uh, highly, highly, or very, very good due to the fact that those buildings, if it's just one administrative building, one cannot use a reconstruction boost. Otherwise, it's going to be a loss in boost, or well, a waste. Okay, there's like one porcupine here. Okay, mole turrets. Okay. Chipping away at that power plant, which is primarily good. Okay, and again, another supply center. Nice damage here by John Wick. 
Okay. However, those uh, vertex actually destroy the Jaguar, and uh, from now on, there will be no more annoying shenanigans here. Rocket Tower desperately being built by this uh, purple player, which just managed to finish, and will now go rain rampage on those things. Now, destroying the uh, construction yard will prevent again any further upgrades or delay it again by a couple of seconds because this guy will have to rebuild it once again. Delay in construction and or upgrade production or upgrade construction or whatever you call it. Now, this guy right here actually, um, well, Night Soul actually stated that this guy, the blue player, is spamming hammers. So, just for context, we're going to have to reveal how many hammers does this guy... Ooh! Okay, so for 7 minutes, it's actually quite huge. And so, as you guys can see, at this point, I already have a Leviathan being produced and are, of course, uh, two porcupines to defend against any of those Vertex shenanigans. Now, I informed uh, Night Soul that there will be an attack coming over here as I already have a hidden infantry hiding, among, uh, hiding in the bushes there. Okay, so they're actually going after that power plant, which is actually not bad as it will unpower the buildings, as you guys can see. Nice micro there on those hammers, as you might say. Although this, those uh, mammoths are not without or are without a shield. Okay, Wolverine taking. Oh wow. Okay, that's actually a good chunk of damage right there. Uh huh. All right. So Cian player managed to join in the fight here and protect his partner, the purple player. Uh, John Wick still on HQ level three. However, he does have a ton of units here against the vertex shenanigans from the Cian player. Typhoons here. And I believe at this point that the blue player is trying to obtain this super container right in the middle of the map. Okay, as you guys can see right here, I'm using a common attack boost as it will increase the speed of all the things that I have. But I just noticed that it will be too late for me to arrive here as the blue player may have already uh, gathered the containers by the time that I arrive. So I switched to another boost to compensate for the loss. Okay, Jaguar is here from Night Soul. Laying waste on those typhoons, which is absolutely wicked. Mammoths here from the back of Night Soul. Vertex from that uh, CN player or Gokilla. Wolverine has been destroyed, but not after taking out a lot of stuff here. And then all of a sudden, those hammers are completely defenseless against any form of aviation. And reinforcement here flanking Night Soul um, army. And of course, the CN player's help when it comes to those Vertex support is absolutely wicked. However, those uh, hammers are not going to change, the, you know, those those things are not going to change the fate of these hammers as they are vulnerable against air since they don't have anti-air without the, uh, or with the absence of those typhoons. And so non-stop unit production here on my end. I do have a, a special vehicle factory level 3, but well, I don't need Chameleon right now at the very least. John Wick managed to obtain that super container and just look at the amount of uh, porcupine and dragonfly from this guy along with the presence of the mole. I think he's going HQ level 4. Oh yeah, he did. Super container. Again, this blue player is actually filthy rich right now by obtaining I don't know how many super containers at this point. Okay, so rifleman's here trying to help out against those uh, hammers acting as a meat bag to protect the jaguars from harm's way. Um, out of those uh, sh shenanigans of those hammers. Meanwhile, I'm going to have to press the attack here, and I actually decided to attack the blue player while the army is not present or out of position. And again, my my Leviathan here is not really useless or helpless against those vertex, as I do have an ample amount of porcupines right here. And then, just like that, I'm going to have to snatch away that HQ right off the bat because the lack of defense is here. BAM! No more HQ for you, my friend. Additional dragonflies here on my end. As you guys can see, dragonflies are actually catching the, the damage of those um, typhoons. Yay! Alright, so Luminous and Scout actually ordered the typhoons to attack the Leviathan. So I'm going to have to get it out of range of those typhoons so that they'll attack or change their target. Meanwhile, I'll position my porcupines around here as the CM player tries to help out with the vertex support, which I'm going to have to cut off by using the porcupines as the wall of anti-air around there. Therefore, leaving Luminous and Scout against Night Soul with this, uh, that's going to be the last army that he'll ever have. And then, I'll go ahead and rain rampage here as to demolish everything I can demolish. 
Now, with the presence of those zoos, I'm going to have to retreat my porcupines to let it live to see another day and act more as of an anti-ear. Okay, at this point, Luminescent Scout is already out of the game. Going back here, again, Hammer Typhoon. Shenanigans here from this purple player. Oh my goodness, I don't know. Heavy Assault is in the mix as well as uh, John Wick is without a chameleon. Now, what a phenomenal move right here. I mean, placing those dragonflies outside the range of those typhoons just in the nick of time to attack those annoying hammers. Now, they are so low in health that it's not really going to change anything at this point. Meanwhile, I'm going to have to switch position into attacking the CN player's base now. And I managed to somewhat completely demolish majority of those vertex from the CN player. Massive defense here, or good defense here by John Wick. Talent, man, talent. That's talent for skill. Alright, so I'll position all my units around here, and then I'll attack as a whole. This gave Knight Soul the chance to obliterate this blue guy's base or finish him off. He is still using emergency measure boost to power up those supply centers, even with the absence of the power plant. The end player's uh, Zeus is still right around here. However, those are not properly microed as they're firing at the rifleman, which basically acts as a meat bag. Just now, they changed target into attacking that Jaguar, which is absolutely great. However, those mammoths are actually firing from afar, which is really, really not good. Yay! Kablooey. Okay, we see the Vertex coming back here with their presence with the absence of the porcupines around here. They'll manage to take a majority of the mammoths from Night Soul. Meanwhile, I'm actually moving to attack the purple player's base and John Wick to attack on this side. So it's a multi-prong attack coming from the bottom of the cliff since the buildings are my target, not the actual units. And I'll also use my porcupines around here along with the dragonfly the wasp to attack the CM player at the same time. So I'm attacking two players at the same time here. Mammoths actually try to scavenge around here or hammers rather try to scavenge everything around here. However, that's not really going to do much with that much, um, you know, with that much hammers and they're not really in good formation. They can easily be countered by that meat grinder as soon as they are revealed from above the cliff. And here we go. Oh, Thors. Wow. Okay, so there are Thors around here, but does not really matter. I do have a ton of dragonflies here to ch so choke up the damage of that anti-air. Again, new using the nuclear out of those factories and no more aviation for you, my friend. Okay, again, Thors. Okay, porcupines around here to act as a meat bag and or force zone or destroy those vertex from the ZM player. Yep, and my attack right here is coming over well as uh, John Wick managed to finish this guy off. Well, at this point in time, it's going to be clear as to who will win this battle. And again, if you guys like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. Smash the like button if you're new, of course, and ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming from my channel. You may also, uh, guys, you may also want to check my uh, previous videos. I also have guide videos for build orders of how to obtain free tokens, credits, gold, and so on. And of course, more content like this. Now, I'd also highly appreciate if you guys can comment down below what are your thoughts into this video. Likewise, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. And yes, Night Soul Imboi. Yes, John Wick Imboi. Tracy Crab. Yes. <laughs> Yay. GG. Bye now.